traffic update for uh, those in Australia and the, around this area. Uh, today is the 3rd of February, uh, 3rd of March, so sorry, uh, 2017, and I've just received the latest um, uh, ultra report by Cliff High um, for March 2017 through to 2047, and really all I'm going to do today is show you uh, there isn't much in here about Australia. Uh, what he is saying, and if you pause this, you can read it, but there's more sets about this political bribery scandal he's been talking about the last couple of months. Um, it was supposed to show itself in uh, early in the year, in, ge in ge January, but it didn't. Uh, he's now saying uh, that, that they're going to be before the end of July. Um, amnesty irregularities. And these corruption scandal sets are gaining supporting descriptions that include hidden property purchases and bribes from government officialdom. Uh, the last is referencing government workers being bribed by officialdom both from Australia and elsewhere. And they're suggesting that the scandal part of the language soon come out will be prying civil servants from their positions of power. Uh, many more sets for very large scale political upsets and politics in disarray. So like we've got some politics um, issues coming up. Uh, there also appears to be a document that's going to be mysteriously located in Britain, which will be pivotal to uh, turning out the government over the latter half of 2017. The only other thing he's mentioning here in relates to Australia is the Australian dollar rising against both the US dollar and the Remindi. Uh, that will be happening over the last half of the year. Now, just to finish off this, I want to bring to your attention another thing that I think is rather interesting popping up on Superstation 95 today. Uh, talk of war. Australia recalls all senior diplomats worldwide for serious meetings next month. Um, now, we've been told, I saw on the news, that uh, Julia Bishop's calling back all of the Australian ambassadors and they're being told that uh, they're going to be um, formulating a new foreign policy. Okay, um, so, but in this case they say, but while the public's been told the meeting is to be strengthen Australia's influence in the world, Superstation 95 has learned through back channel contacts, whatever back channel contacts are, that there is a very serious concern about war in the Pacific with China. These Chinese, the Chinese have been undertaking vast constructions to build artificial islands in the South China Sea. Um, and um, you can pause again, let's just read this back. Um, we're going to war in South China Sea in five to ten years, said Steve Bannon of the Trump administration in March 2016. Um, but again, there's no, well, the only thing we can go on here is that they say that they've got back channel contacts. Um, they're, um, and then they talk about the uh, South China Sea and what China's doing there. We all know what's going on there. But um, nothing really much more except to say, uh, to, they're talking about a uh, spokesman from Chinese Foreign Ministry uh, said Mrs. Miss Bishop's assertion that China should abide by the decision that it was final and lengthy was wrong and two months later in August Chinese state-run media called Australia an ideal target for China to warm and strike, warn and strike. Um, interesting. Uh, it's all supposition. It's somebody's uh, view based on who knows. But I think it was worth bringing to your attention. Anyway, cheers. Hi, guys. Um, just a quick update for uh, those in Australia and the, around this area. Uh, today is the 3rd of February, uh, 3rd of March, so sorry, uh, 2017. And I've just received the latest... Um, uh, ultra report by Cliff High um, for March 2017 through to 2047 and really all I'm going to do today is show you uh, 